up, guys? We are back here again <laughs> with uh, Mitsubishi Starion. Now, maybe you're wondering, like, oh, what's going on with it now? Well, um, we've been actually having a, a fuel fuel issues. Um, our injectors keep getting. Um, I think, like we mentioned before, they keep they were getting clogged up. Uh, so uh, they did get clogged up again. Not as bad as the first time it happened, but uh, it's it's enough. So we did remove the injectors. You can see we did take them to uh, our in, uh, fuel injector cleaning guy, and uh, he took care of that. He said they weren't as bad as they were before, but, I mean, it's still bad. So uh, what we're actually going to be doing today is uh, to hopefully end the issue uh, is um, pretty much flush out all of our lines. We're not going to be using the Sterion's um, factory feed and return line. We're going to be replacing it with aluminum uh, fuel line. And uh, we're going to be dropping the fuel tank, draining all the fuel out of that, cleaning the tank. We're going to be replacing our fuel pump. Uh, we did get n a new uh, fuel filter, a different type. Uh, what was it? A fit? What is it? Micron? What? Jericho? The fuel filter? What was it? 10, 10 Micron? Okay, yeah. Okay, 10 micron fuel filter, and we also have a uh, Holly Hydromat that we'll be installing in the fuel tank. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, Jericho's just cleaning out a, a drain bucket, so we can go ahead and uh, drain all the fuel and uh, drop that tank. So, all right, we'll be right back. Here you go. Half inch drive on the drain. It seems like not that long ago we, we drained it of all that old stuff, remember? <laughs> it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was like the fountain of Bellagio. <laughs> Let's see if we get that again. It was just a bunch of sand. They said, uh, Stark said it was like sand, huh? Gritty. It was real gritty. So we thought we already took care of that issue, but I guess, you know, once again, this thing's been sitting for so long without an engine. All the moisture and corrosion build up. This thing is going to gush, huh? Yeah, it is. Let me get back. There it goes. Ew. Oh, that is nasty. It already feels nasty? Like you could see it. Really? Yeah. That's not good. Maybe the previous owner had a angry ex. <laughs> Dumped a bunch of sand in there. Ah, oh, the wind's not helping any either. Yeah. Cool. Well, definitely not the Bellagio. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we found, um a good uh, portion of the problem here. For one, our uh, strainer, the factory strainer is no more. So it's not helping any. You can see all the little sediment. Look, it's already getting on my hand. So yeah, it's not good at all. You can see all the stuff on Definitely corrosion and this little sediment and some moisture and whatnot. Look at that. Dang it. I think it's in our little strainer in the uh, our fuel pump to it. So we got a new fuel pump. So we're gonna have to we go take this to get hot tanked out, huh? Let's see. Hopefully they're still open. So, all right, guys. Well, that's where we're at right now with it. So we definitely gotta we definitely gotta clean. You can see in there. Pretty nasty stuff. Looks like a, a little beach. Yeah. Turn, there we go. Ooh. Yucky. Yeah. Cool. So hopefully we can get our Holly to hydromat in there. So we're going to see how we're going to have to do that because they really give us no room to put our hand in there to set anything down. So, but the good thing about the Holly mat is all it has to do is just make contact with gas and it's supposed to do its magic. So uh, let's go get this cleaned out before it gets any later. 
All right, while we're waiting for the fuel tank to be uh, finished, cleaned out, um, we're gonna go ahead and start with our uh, new hard lines. This is aluminum 3 8 inch uh, hard line. And uh, on the ends, we're going to use these um, hard line uh, fittings that pretty much have a, a little crushed olive or whatever you wanna call it inside, like a little compression thing uh, to make it um, a dash six male. So this will pretty much be just like the factory one. So Jericho's gonna go ahead and lift that side up and then we're gonna start pretty much following the fuel line to copy it the best we can so we can mount it up in, in there. And then we're also gonna be running the return line in the same fashion as well. Also, this is our uh, our new pickup. You saw the, the little pickup screen was uh, destroyed. This is a genuine Holly Hydromat see there so all I did was actually cut it down so this is going to be the pretty much the same distance as the original um, strainer so it does sit inside of a little uh, bucket inside the fuel tank so this is just a little bit bigger than that bucket but it's okay this can flex as well without uh, creating any type of obstructions uh, for fuel flow whatsoever um, yeah so I think this is gonna work out good all right there we are there and then Jericho with a big old rip in his pants. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, all right, cool. So can you can you see it? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be easy. Yeah. It's gonna be all right. Not bad. I'm gonna have to route it a certain way. Okay. All right. Let me um. What is up guys? It is actually the next day. You see Jericho is wearing different clothes. So it is an, it is another day. <laughs> okay, uh, the reason why we had to stop that night was, or last night was because our tank was not ready. And it was already getting really late. So we had to call it. So uh, there it is, the cleaned out tank. And um, let me see if we get any closer here. See we have our brand new fuel pump already. And then like I showed earlier, there's the Holly hydromat inside so that one worked out okay um probably i would probably suggest maybe the smaller square shaped one rather than the uh, like like the the beginning one the smallest one they have would probably work the best so we went ahead and plugged everything in so we're about to raise the tank up and uh bolt it on down so then re-secure our uh, hard lines we made and uh put some gas in it and fire up and see where we're at all right tank installed all hardware installed all uh Pressure lines, supply lines, return lines installed. We got uh, Jericho filling her on up. We're going to prime it, prime the system, and see if we have any leaks. Uh, hopefully not, but, you know, knowing our luck, maybe. <laughs> All right, cool. Then we'll finish uh, filling that sucker up, and then um, we'll uh, cycle the key. Why do you look at it like that? <laughs> uh oh, are we ready? Priming only. I come with you. All right, I'm gonna check the back right here. Go ahead. I hear, I hear the pump poo. Again? Again? I hear it filtering through the Holly Hydromat. Now let me check under here. It's our favorite. Go ahead. No, nope, no pressure yet. Keep going. Ah, building pressure. Keep going. Ooh. Again. One, two, Go. Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of air. Go ahead again. All right, well, it looks looks pretty good. I don't, I don't see or smell anything yet. So, um, neutral. All right, we are at almost 60 PSI, about 55 PSI. Okay, fire. Sounds smooth, huh? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Let me see if we got any 
any poppies. Sounds pretty good so far. We'll keep letting it run. If you hear a rattling, it's a the cheap light that broke. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna rev it up. Shouldn't get any sputters or anything, right? Definitely blowing off. All right, Sterion is back on the ground. So, yeah. So let's go and fire on up, and then uh, let's go for a little ride. You guys, you guys can come along too. <laughs> Come with us. <laughs> oh, it doesn't want to let me in. There we go. Oh man, how does this thing get dirty? It's not like you use it. Every day. Every day. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put my turbo seatbelt on. Oh, there's a Z. Oh, what's that next to the Z, man? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that one later. Secret. How's it feeling? Night, better. night and day? Night and day. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and I'll be sure. Take it. <laughs> take take it on the freeway. Just to see what it feels like on the freeway. Gotta go put gas in it. We only put the five gallons in it. It's a huge tank the Stereon has. Get some VP racing fuel. Hey, slow down. <laughs> slow down. Where does my gas tank? It's on the left side. It's hot. Go right. What are you doing? Putting race fuel. Racing, VP racing, the fuel. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing your code. <laughs> Look at them prices. Look at them prices. Oh, they got 101. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Try again. Look, only race cars come here. Oh, was that a race car? <laughs> Yeah, VP. Get some. And there we have it. You can see that it's idling really nice right now. No, no more uh, popping once again out of the exhaust. So, uh, looks great, man. Um, I'm glad we we did all that. So, to preserve the future of the build. Oh, great. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, leave any comment you have below, or like always, let your hate flow. And cool, and we'll catch you guys next time.